What's up, everybody? So a lot of times on my live stream UI UX reviews, which I do usually every Friday or Saturday, a lot of people say, have you ever rated anybody a 10? Because I do a scale rating of, you know, one being the worst portfolio I've ever seen, and then 10 being, you know, the best I've ever seen. Um, and I've never given a 10. So I thought a great idea for a topic for today's video would be seven awesome design portfolios that I think are great and actually might be tens. All right, so that's what we're gonna do today. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and let's get started. One second, before we begin, the sponsor of this video is Scrimba. Now, in case you've been living under a rock, Scrimba.com is an interactive learning platform for coders. They recently launched their front-end development career path, which is a collection of courses that cover HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, and much, much more, as you see. It's over 75 hours of awesome content. There are hundreds of interactive coding challenges, and it's all geared towards helping you go from beginner to someone that's hireable as a front-end developer. So check out the first link in the description below to get 50% off. All right, so for the very first portfolio, we have Paper Pillar. All right, so the one thing that I really like about you know this initial design that we see here is this illustration. It is perfectly seamless. I you could tell that instead of just using like a stock sort of illustration library, which you see many of those, you know, a lot of work has gone into this to create a nice custom, really color vibrant uh, visual. I, I like everything about this top section. It is, in my opinion, nearly perfect. Um, let's scroll down to see what else happens. And then notice this. Small things like this, they really help. They go a long way. Uh, if if we're, we're talking about a potential client or an employer checking this out, notice what happens to the let's talk call to action here when you scroll down. So it's really cool that they give you an animation, a visual reference that that is occurring. Uh, so I think that is really awesome. Um, next up, of course, all the UI design fundamentals are here really good topography, um, good color and contrast, good white space, good visual hi hi ah, visual hierarchy that is. Um, everything's really solid. Um, they found a unique way to show clients right here. Um, a lot of people just put things in rows, which is okay, but you know, to come up with something unique really helps go the extra mile uh, with clients. Um, latest works here. So they have card designs and they're flipping them, reversing them, all of the like I said, all the design fundamentals are here. They're really well designed, good white space, uh, really vibrant, interested to work with us. Let's talk, call to action button. So I really don't see anything wrong with this one. This is, out of the other six examples, uh, this is probably the more simplest one in terms of not having a lot of animation. But I, you know, if I had to rate this one, I would probably give it, you know, like a 9.5 or so, very solid. Next up is gonna be SIBO Studio. All right, so let's let this load. So we have a nice, very quick loading animation there. Um, when I look at this, I think really simple, very clean, great colors. Uh, as you can see, there's not a lot happening here. Um, I like the navigation, how it's separated here with the logo. Um, a lot of people sometimes will make these too large and then you lose that visual hierarchy, but there's a good separation between the logo, this navigation, and then the call to action, let's talk. Um, what font is that? That's SB Enya 01. Okay, I actually like that font a lot. Uh, so outside of this, if we scroll down here, we have some animations that take place. Now, what's really cool is when you hover over these, you can see that they're independently, some of the items like this little cell phone graphic or whatever it is, or smartphone, uh, is animating in a little bit differently. So they're not just taking this whole container and applying this transform animation on it. They're doing some other things that are a little bit more unique to just make it more of a unique, interesting animation. So it's designed very well and also the interactivity is there as well. You can see the same sort of thing happening here and here. So I really like this one. I really love the colors here. Uh, the separation between this purplish bluish color um, and then this, this darker right here works very well. 
The animations are all very subtle as they come in. Um, they're using borders here, but they're doing the the borders in these elements in such a way that's very that's like an afterthought. Uh, so you can barely see them. So I, I really like it. Uh, that's a good usage of using bot, uh, borders in a modern way. So good call to action sticks out. You know, again, all the design fundamentals are here. There's nothing wrong with what I see in any of this. So again, this is going to be higher up there, like a 9.5 or so. Even though this as well, there's not a lot of crazy interesting animations or anything like that happening. Next up is going to be OBS, OBYS.agency. So let's check this one out. All right, so now we have a loading graphic. And this is one of the, these uh, really modern contemporary styles. And so you see this sort of style quite a bit. Um, we've hijacked the, the, the cursor. You, that's something that we see often. We design unique web slash graphic experience. All right, so that's a good headline because uh, a lot of people for their portfolios or their agencies, you know, website, they'll just put like the web, they'll just put something boring, but this is, um, this is pretty good, pretty solid. This is another one of those things that you would see as well when you hover over a certain type uh, typography, you'll see um, like a photograph that's overlaid on top of them. Again, this is definitely a much more contemporary style of design. Um, also, a nice smooth scroll happens when you use your mouse scroll wheel. Very nice. They have little micro uh, interactions happening here. So the right now in this area uh, of this little overlay right here, if you click it, just notice what happens to the play icon. Uh, so very nice use of JavaScript there and design. I Again, this is one of those, I forget which library allows you to do this, uh, these types of effects. I need to cover this actually. You, you see this a lot in um, these types of, of, of designs like in COD drops, I think it's called, CO drops. Um, I think like 3JS can do this stuff. Correct me if I'm wrong. So I definitely want to cover this. Uh, I really like this. It's a very interesting effect. And notice the layout is it's not like your typical layout. Uh, they're, they're doing things very uniquely in terms of how they decided to situate the columns here and the photographs and all of that. So you don't always have to do the cookie cutter thing. So all in all, everything's smooth, nice smooth animations that come in based on the scroll. No issues with UI design fundamentals. I mean, the uh, the color contrast obviously is there because it's pretty much black on white. Good white space everywhere. Overall, very, very cool. Next up, and if I had to rate this one, you know, this might be very close to a 10. Halo Lab. All right, so design-driven development of your web product for years. All right, so coming down here, if we scroll, good. Notice nice white space between uh, these sections. Notice the nice visual hierarchy from this type based on the left column and the description over here on the right. Recent works. You know, this is another one of those ways you can feed, a unique way you could feature your products. So I... Uh, it's, it's, it animates slightly on scroll. Notice the overlapping effect here of the type that's on top of this element and notice the nice micro interactions that we have with the hover. This all works very well. Same thing here. So it's, it's like basically going back and forth from a right to left sort of orientation for each of the projects. Again, all the design fundamentals are here. Notice a lot of these have really interesting animations that are tied to scroll as well as the mouse. So not only do they just have well-designed and uniquely designed uh, portfolios and, and agency portfolios, but there's also a lot of interactivity and movement as well. Next up, so if I had to rate this one, I would probably give this one like I'm saying, like a a good a good 9.5, 9.6. I probably don't like this top part the most, but everything else is very solid. 
All right, so here's an awesome example of a interactive animated sort of illustration with a lot of detail in it that I that I like. Um, let's refresh this because we do have animation where it initially loads. I really like how all this text comes in. And this is also animating on cursor movement. I don't really like this though, the menu, because we could completely just put those out here. But outside of that, notice all the subtle animations that are coming in as these cards flow in. I see a lot of people will do this on my live UI UX review, but sometimes they make you wait too long for the animation to come in, but these come in exactly right when they're in the viewport. And it's just a, a nice way, kind of like having these cards that are based on a color scheme that works well for the particular project. So those are really nice. I like that a lot. So this one, again, it's going to be very close to a 10. Next up, kuon.space. Now this one had a lot of attention. This is like an older um, portfolio that I've seen. Um, but if we scroll down, look at the animations that take place. So it will automatically kind of shift you into this section um, based on the scroll movement. So you all have to do is just touch it and then automatically it, it comes in. And all the animations are just really smooth. Look at that. It is just so nice. I, I encourage everybody to go to this site and just look at how the animations occur. Also, if I, I click this, it comes in. I uh, So I'm not sure which uh, technology stack they're using for this, but uh, it seamlessly transitions to each page in a very nice manner so that you can learn more about all of those particular projects or those pages. Very, very, very nice. Next up, last but not least, is going to be alexcoven.com. All right, so really simple, large headline here. Now, if I scroll down, same th sort of thing happens where it will automatically filter things in. And he's found a unique way to kind of feature and showcase each of the projects. And if we click this little play icon right here or this little right arrow, it'll take us again seamlessly transition into yet another page where it gives you all the information about that particular page or product or service. We'll check out another one. Click play, nice animation, micro interactions here. Everything's designed well on the subsequent pages. So all in all, very, very nice. All right, so that is it. Just a quick video today on my personal opinions of, of designs that are, if not tens, very close to tens. And now you have my personal opinion on what constitutes really great portfolios and designs. So I think the key takeaway here is going to be designs that obviously have all of the UI design fundamentals going for them, which is color and contrast, topography, white space, alignment, visual hierarchy, but also taking it another step beyond that and introducing unique layouts, also micro interactions and animations. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.